It turns out if you have a rational expression with a numerator and denominator, you're actually allowed to cancel any common factors that you have in the numerator and the denominator. So if you have something like x plus 5 divided by x squared minus 25, what you can do is notice this denominator down here, that, that'll actually factor. So you'd have x plus 5, and since this is a difference of squares, you would have x plus 5 times x minus 5. And based off of that statement that I just made, because these are the same factor, x plus 5 over x plus 5, you can actually cancel these guys away, similar to how you would do with a regular fraction that has numbers in it, like you know, 6 twelfths or you know, 3 ninths or something like that. You can actually cancel those entire factors and reduce or simplify the rational expression. So like this one would end up being 1 over just x minus 5. So you can simplify rational expressions, again, by canceling common factors that you have like this. All right, let's, um, let's take a look at one more, one more thing. Here's a, a very common mistake that students make with rational expressions. With something like this, uh, students would be inclined sometimes to look at the 6x to the 4th and the 2x squared and say, oh, oh, it looks like those guys can be simplified or reduced. The problem is, is that these guys are not factors of the numerator and denominator. They're being added to other terms. So we cannot, we cannot cancel individual terms that are simply added or subtracted in the numerator or denominator only when you have factors. So do not try to cancel anything like that and reduce or anything like that because of the plus 9 and the plus 7. Um, so what you could try to do in a general situation is see if it factors, which means created as a, a product in the numerator or denominator, and then if you have any that are the same, you might can cancel some out.